Wean from the milk. Wean from the milk. You growing up. You growing up. And you no longer need milk. You no longer, you no longer need the breast. Isaiah 28 verse 9. You got to get the basics of what the, the will of God is, what the knowledge of God is all about, what it has always been about from the very beginning. You got to get that understanding first. You got a lot of people that try to deal with Christ and they don't want to deal with the understanding from the very beginning. What was the understanding from the very beginning? That God had a chosen people. That has always been known from the very beginning. That's the milk. That God chose one people and he blessed that one people and he was only for that one people. Well, unless you ain't coming, if you're not coming off of that glass of milk, First is two, verse two. Like what milk you drink? And you're gonna see to disagree the words of the prophets. Milk is what you start off with. This is the word of God, and the word of God is telling you if you're gonna be a teacher, you gotta be taught again. That's the first thing that you gotta understand is you gotta be taught again. No matter what you think you know, you don't know. Okay, you gotta be taught all over again. You gotta be like a baby. And you got to realize that you need milk. First Corinthians 3, verse 2. That means you got to start all over. This is what God requires. You got to start all over. Go back to the beginning. Go back to Genesis and see what God's will has always been. Holy Apostle and Chief High Priest, as a doctor, guys and comfort. You better get back on that milk because you're not growing spiritually in the knowledge of God. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right? Romans chapter 10. And we're going to read it again. In verse 13, Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Read that. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Read on. shall be saved. Right. But in order for you to call the name of the Lord, make sure you're calling on the right name of the Lord, not those lies that's out there. I told you, you call Java, Java, Java. You're going to find out. Ain't no salvation coming. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. You got people that got demons in them, okay? Those Yahweh been Yahweh's. Them cats, they, their doctrine is that when you look into a tree, the tree showed forms the letter Y. And that's the signature of God. Your just name is in the trees. But why are they being cut down, used for damn firewood? Like, what happened? Whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But check this out. It says what? Read on. How then? Come on. Shall they call on him? Read on. In whom they have not believed. If you don't believe in the almighty Yahweh, how are you going to call on him? If you believe his name is Elohim. 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 I'm trying to, you know, I'm be trying to rationalize this stuff. You know, Elohim. Now that ain't it. That sounds like Allah. Hayim. The Hebrew word for angel is Alahayim. They go Elohim. All that means is power. That means the angelic force. That's not the name of God. How then should they call on him in whom they have not believed? Read on. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Yeah, how are they going to believe in somebody that they ever heard about? Jesus Christ letting you know, listen, when you've been hearing about God, all the, the, the Israelite church of God and Jesus Christ, we point, we make it our business to point out to you. Wherever God appears in these scriptures, it's talking about Jesus Christ 99.9% .9 of the time. And it's Christ that testified that the Bible testifies of him, that he's written in a whole book. And that name, when you read it in the Hebrew, is Yahweh. Y-H-W-H. Read on. And how shall they hear? And how shall they hear? How you going to hear who the name of God is? Read on. Without a preacher. Unless God sends somebody to tell you. Now let's go back to Revelation chapter 19. Revelation 19. 
And he had a name written. What verse was you in? Verse 12. Read it one more time. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay, come on. And on his head were many crowns. Read on. And he had a name written. Okay, nobody on earth knows what this is. Go, I, I go ask any ham, hot, collard greens with pork in it preacher. I'm telling you. Any preacher that damn Sister Mary bought the, the cabbage with the damn, damn the smoked pig neck in it. I'm telling you. I got to be eating the cabbage with greasy lips. Name written. I tell you right there. Nobody knows, son. You got to wait on Jesus. There's no damn dancing. Jesus. They'll give you that name, son. These priests, you know, Cleflo done made his way to Fordham Road. I don't even know how the Bronx Negroes let that happen. Huh? <laughs> what happened to Bronx niggas? Huh? What happened? <laughs> Cleflo was on Fordham Road. Ain't this something? They done let that lying damn two-time three-card molly cat come up in there on Fordham. And just, you know. <laughs> These are preachers that have damn cars in their sanctuary preaching about the cars. Now, now, now the car industry going to make it, Lord. You're like, what the heck this got to do with salvation? He had a name written that no man knew. Ask anybody. Ain't no, and nobody going to tell you. <laughs> Only in the Israelite church are you going to be able to give this an understanding. Y'all got to know the stuff that nobody knows. Because that's the stuff that you got to use, okay? Especially when somebody think they know something. Jehovah's Witness come up. Where, where did Jehovah's? We're like, get in a cage and yell out Jehovah and see what happens. Get in the damn lion's cage. You yell out Jehovah, okay? See what happened? You ain't going to be Daniels in the lion's den. You're going to be a dead Jehovah's Witness in the lion's den. With a broke neck. Y'all can still have fun. I can't have no fun because they know me, okay? I, I be trying to sneak up. They be running like hell. I be like, damn, man. But y'all can still have fun with these people. You just get your little cell phone out. That's all. Record the event so we all can see it. Now, that's how confident we are. Do we look like we, we don't know what we're talking about up in here? We are so confident. Everybody else going to run like hell. What was the name written that no man knew? That was the name of Jesus. Ain't nobody going to answer that question but us. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Read on. And he was clothed with a vesture, dipped in blood. Yeah, they ain't going to explain that. Why was Jesus Christ's whole garment dipped in blood? They ain't going to explain that. The scriptures tell you that the blood was up to the horse's bridle. That means when he jumped off that horse, if he got off the horse, the blood would have been all the way up. Because most people, when you, get, when you get a horse, the horse is about, about the, where your shoulder area is at when you get off. When he got off the horse, he was there, the blood covered his whole garment. That's how much killing was done. That's how much people was killed. That's how much blood was spilled. And he was, he, he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. Read on. And his name. Read it again. And his name. Read it one more time. And his name. Read on. Is called the word of God. The scriptures tell us in St. John's uh, chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. That's his name. The word of God. Why is his name the word of God? Because every word that came from God, it came out of the mouth of Jesus Christ. Every word that was pinned down that became the Bible, which is also known about the known as the Word of God, came from Jesus Christ. And that's another thing we point out in the Israelite Church of God, Jesus Christ. That here go Christ, here go Christ. This is Christ telling them this. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. We point that out in Genesis. That was Jesus. And his name is called the Word of God. Read on. Verse 14. Come on. And the armies which were in heaven. Followed them upon white horses. Yeah, there were armies in heaven. There, there were and angels lined up in ranks unimaginable. I mean, God, remember, God is the creator. There's life all around. There's so many angels. I mean, oh my goodness. They tend thousand upon thousands, even thousands of thousands. All you keep seeing coming is thousands. The thousands never stop coming. You be like, oh my God. They just be rushing in. The scripture says the rushing in of him. The rushing in of Jesus Christ. They just going to be coming rushing in. And you, it's, it's going to be another ending line of angels just coming. You're like, oh my goodness. 
And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horse horses. Read on. Clothed in fine linen. Clothed in, clothed in fine linen. Read on. White and clean. Yeah, these are righteous forces. These ain't nothing to be afraid of that Esau is trying to tell you is invading the earth. They're wearing white because they're righteous and also they want to make, they want to see the first drop of the enemy's blood on their clothes. They're going to get excited over that. Okay, you're going to have an angel way in the back of the thousands of thousands of thousands. I mean, come on, Akip. My turn. <laughs> Let me get some blood on my garments. See, somebody got to get out of here now. I got to get out of here now. I got to get out of here now. This ain't right up in there. I got to get out of here now. That's the old ham, hock ham frying, the one that fry the ham steaks and bring it to church. That's the one that got to get out of here now. Fried in all kind of butter. Read on. Verse 15. Come on. And out of his mouth, go for sharp.